Welcome back to Finance Home Front. I'm Craig, your guide in the world of finance. Today, we're delving into a fascinating topic, dividend investing. But before we unravel the secrets of this investment strategy, I want to remind you that while I'm here to share insights and spark discussions, I'm not a financial advisor. So consider this video as an educational resource rather than personalized advice. Now, let's make this conversation interactive. Show your support by hitting the like button, share your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. All right, let's dive into the world of dividend investing and uncover the potential it holds for your financial journey. Dividend investment presents itself as a compelling avenue within the realm of investment strategies. Over the course of history, dividend paying stocks have exhibited a tendency to outperform the S&P 500 index while concurrently demonstrating lower levels of volatility. This distinctive characteristic stems from the dual nature of returns offered by dividend stocks, regular income in the form of dividend payments, and appreciation of the stock's value over time. The amalgamation of these components contributes to a cumulative return that accrues steadily with the passage of time. The allure of dividend stocks primarily lies in their reduced susceptibility to market volatility, rendering them an attractive option for investors seeking relatively lower risk ventures, particularly those approaching retirement or already in retirement. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that despite their perceived stability, dividend stocks can entail risks if one is not vigilant. Thus, a deeper examination of the nuances associated with investing in dividend stocks becomes imperative. To elucidate the mechanics of dividend stocks, consider the following scenario. An investor purchases 100 shares of a company priced at $10 per share with each share entitling them to an annual dividend of 50 cents. Consequently, the initial investment of $1,000 yields a return of $50 in dividends over the span of a year, equating to a dividend yield of 5%. This exemplifies the rudimentary concept underlying dividend investing, wherein investors receive periodic dividends proportional to their stake in the company. Subsequent to receiving dividends, investors are presented with multiple avenues regarding the utilization of these funds. They may opt to reinvest dividends automatically through a dividend reinvestment plan, DRIP, allocate funds towards acquiring stocks of alternative companies, retain the cash for future deployment, or consume the dividends as a source of income. Regardless of fluctuations in the company's stock price, dividend payments endure as long as the company persists in dispersing them, thereby ensuring a steady income stream for investors. The appeal of dividend paying stocks is further underscored by the predictability inherent in quarterly dividend payments. While not all companies offering dividend stocks can sustain consistent payouts across diverse economic landscapes, a diversified portfolio comprising such stocks can furnish investors with a dependable income stream irrespective of prevailing market conditions. When coupled with capital appreciation resulting from the growth trajectory of owned companies, the aggregate returns derived from dividend stocks can rival and at times surpass those yielded by broader market indices. Several prominent companies boast a storied legacy of dispensing dividends, exemplifying the allure and viability of dividend investing. Noteworthy among these entities are Chevron, Procter and & Gamble, and Lowe's, each renowned for their sustained commitment to dividend payments. At present, these companies offer dividend yields of 3.99%, 2.53%, and 2.05%, respectively, indicative of the consistent returns they proffer to shareholders. Procter & Gamble and Lowe's stand distinguished by their remarkable track record of increasing stock dividends for over 50 consecutive years, elevating them to the esteemed echelon of dividend kings. Moreover, 
they hold membership in the coveted cohort of dividend achievers comprising S&P 500 index constituents boasting over 25 years of uninterrupted dividend growth. Similarly, Chevron merits recognition as an aristocrat, having sustained a streak of dividend growth spanning more than 35 years. The diverse representation of dividend stocks across various industries underscores the versatility inherent in dividend investing, with dividend amounts and percentage yields varying across companies. Prior to embarking on a dividend investment journey, it is imperative to acquaint oneself with the key metrics instrumental in assessing the viability of potential investments. These metrics serve as indispensable tools in gauging the anticipated dividends, evaluating the sustainability of dividend payments, and identifying potential red flags that warrant caution. 1. Dividend Yield Representing the annualized dividend as a percentage of the stock price, the dividend yield serves as a pivotal valuation metric. It facilitates comparisons between a stock's current yield and its historical levels with a higher dividend yield generally deemed favorable. However, emphasis should be placed on a company's capacity to maintain and ideally augment dividend payouts, as an exceptionally high dividend yield may signify underlying vulnerabilities. Two. Dividend Payut Radio Gorn. Expressed as the dividend, as a percent age of a company's earnings, the dividend payut ratio offers insights into the sustainability of dividends. A lower payut ratio is indicative of a more sustainable dividend policy, thereby mitigating the risk of potential cuts. 3. Cash Dividend Payout Ratio. This metric delineates the dividend as a percentage of a company's operating cash flows minus capital expenditures, providing a more accurate portrayal of a dividend's sustainability relative to the traditional payout ratio. By factoring in non-cash expenses and variations in earnings, the cash dividend payout ratio furnishes investors with a comprehensive assessment of dividend viability. 4. Total Return Reflecting the cumulative increase in stock price and dividends paid, the total return encapsulates the holistic financial gains realized by investors. It serves as a pertinent yardstick for evaluating the overall profitability of dividend investments, incorporating both capital gains and income from dividends. 5. Earnings Per Share EPS Normalizing a company's earnings to a per share basis EPS underscores the consistency and trajectory of earnings growth over time. A history of earnings accretion signifies a robust financial standing and augurs well for sustained dividend growth. 6. Price to Earnings P.E. Ratio Calculated by dividing a company's share price by its earnings per share, the P.E. ratio serves as a supplementary metric in conjunction with dividend yield to ascertain the fair valuation of dividend stocks. Inexperienced dividend investors often fall prey to the allure of high yield stocks, mistakenly equating elevated yields with lucrative investment opportunities. However, high dividend yields can frequently be symptomatic of underlying risks, starting a phenomenon known as a dividend yield trap. To avert such pitfalls, prudent investors are advised to adopt the following precautionary measures. 1. Exercise caution with high yield stocks. Vigilance should be exercised when considering stocks boasting disproportionately high dividend yields as these may pretend underlying vulnerabilities rather than lucrative prospects. 2. Leverage payout ratios. The dividend payout ratio serves as a reliable barometer for assessing a dividend's sustainability, enabling investors to discern the extent to which dividends are supported by a company's earnings. 3. Analyze Dividend History A company's track record of dividend growth and yield can furnish valuable insights into its financial stability and commitment to shareholder returns, aiding investors in making informed decisions. 
Four, conduct comprehensive due diligence. Thorough scrutiny of a company's balance sheet, encompassing factors such as debt levels, cash reserves, and, and industry dynamics is imperative to discerning the underlying fundamentals governing dividend viability. Five, evaluate business and industry dynamics. Consideration should be given to the broader economic landscape and industry specific factors that may impact a company's ability to sustain dividend payments over the long term. In essence, the pursuit of excessively high yields often proves counterproductive, underscoring the importance of prioritizing dividend sustainability and growth over short-term gains. Now on to tax implications of dividend income. Dividend income carries distinct tax implications contingent upon the classification of dividends and the investor's tax bracket. Most dividend stocks dispense qualified dividends subject to tax rates ranging from 0% to 20% predicated on the investor's tax bracket. This tax treatment stands in stark contrast to the higher ordinary income tax rates levied on alternative forms of income ranging from 10% to 37% or more. Additionally, certain investment income may be subject to an additional 3.8% tax for high earners further underscoring the favorable tax treatment afforded to qualified dividends. Conversely, ordinary or non-qualified dividends are taxed at the investor's marginal tax rate, potentially resulting in a higher tax liability relative to qualified dividends. Notably, real estate investment trusts, REITs, and master limited partnerships, MLPs, are structured entities that may distribute high dividend yields albeit subject to heightened tax obligations due to their corporate structures. It is pertinent to note that the tax implications associated with dividend income can be mitigated through strategic investment placement within tax advantage retirement accounts, such as individual retirement accounts, I IRAs. However, investing in MLPs may entail tax liabilities even within the confines of an IRA necessitating meticulous consideration of tax-efficient investment strategies. Let's look at diversification and wealth accumulation through dividend investing. Contrary to prevalent misconceptions equating dividend stocks solely with retirement or risk-averse investing, dividend investing holds merit across diverse investment horizons. The incorporation of dividend-paying stocks within one's investment portfolio confers multifaceted benefits, including reduced volatility and augmented total returns, thereby facilitating the attainment of long-term financial objectives. Adopting a dividend-centric investment strategy necessitates the consideration of several key facets aimed at optimizing portfolio performance and minimizing risk exposure. Foremost among these considerations is the cultivation of a diversified dividend portfolio, underpinned by companies exhibiting a track record of consistent dividend growth. Emphasis should be placed on the financial stability and growth potential of underlying companies rather than fixating solely on dividend yield. Additionally, the method of dividend reinvestment assumes significance in amplifying the efficacy of dividend investing strategies. While some investors opt for manual reinvestment of dividends, others leverage automated dividend reinvestment plans, such as DRIPS, to facilitate seamless reinvestment of dividends without incurring fees or commissions. The utilization of such mechanisms underscores the potential of compounding returns over time. Augmenting wealth accumulation through systematic reinvestment of dividends. Furthermore, investors may opt to access dividend-focused exchange-traded funds, ETFs, or mutual funds as an alternative avenue for gaining exposure to diversified portfolios of dividend-paying stocks. These investment vehicles offer a passive income stream while offering investors the benefits of portfolio diversification and professional management expertise. In summation, the integration of dividend stocks within one's investment portfolio 
transcends conventional paradigms, catering to investors across varied risk profiles and investment horizons by adhering to prudent investment principles and leveraging the unique advantages conferred by dividend paying stocks, investors can forge a pathway towards sustained wealth accumulation and financial prosperity. Thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it.